Welcome to a presentation on Autosave from MDT Software. MDT Software provides products that protect the intellectual property in your automation layer across your enterprise, helping you avoid risk regardless of device type, helping you recover quickly from hardware failures, mistakes, and even sabotage. No one else has our range of device and application support. MDT is the inventor of change management software for programmable devices over 25 years ago. And today, end users around the world have selected MDT Autosave to effectively manage an increasing array of software on the plant floor and to minimize downtime associated with plant floor automation. We have more partnerships than any other vendor and the broadest range of editor and device support in the industry. Let's look at a few real-world scenarios on the use of Autosave, and then we'll look at the architecture and workflow of the product. So let's consider the day in the life of a plant engineer. Everything's okay, so the plant engineer decides to go to lunch. And while he's at lunch, things happen. A contractor comes in and deploys a change, but you don't have a record of that source code change. A new hire decides to make a programming change that's perhaps less than optimal, resulting in decrease in performance or decrease in quality. And accidents happen. And if an accident happens that takes out the processor, that means loss of source code, and that means downtime. So if you're the plan engineer, what do you do now? Let's replay those scenarios, but with Autosave installed in the facility. Contractor comes in and deploys a change, but Autosave will periodically go out and look for changes that have been made. Autosave will periodically send a copy of the program to an agent, upload a copy from the processor, and perform a comparison. If changes are found, a comparison will be emailed to people you designate. Rather than users logging directly into devices and making changes, the users log into Autosave. They select the program they want and perform their edits. Autosave will verify the user's permissions and keep track of their changes. And if a user makes a change that's less than optimal, Autosave provides an undo capability. The engineer can upload the program from the processor, compare it to a known good copy on file, make any changes necessary, and download a good program to the processor, restoring operations quickly. Also, if a hardware failure occurs, it's simply a matter of resetting the hardware. And after the hardware is set, the user goes to autosave, downloads a good copy of the program, and operations are restored quickly. Now let's look at the architecture and workflow of the product. Autosave is a client server architecture. The Autosave server has IIS for reporting, Microsoft SQL Server, and a data store. The data store can be in network storage, the SQL can be in a SQL farm, or they both can be local on the machine. We also recommend having a SQL management plan in place and keeping a copy of your data drive. It's also necessary to connect Autosave to an SMTP server to receive email notifications. The second part of Autosave are the workstations. Laptops and workstations are used to interact with the editor software and to send the changes back to the server. The third component is the agent. There can be more than one for scalability reasons, and these performed unattended or scheduled operations necessary to verify what's in the processor is what Autosave has on file. So let's look at a typical workflow usage of Autosave. A user goes to a workstation and logs into Autosave. Autosave verifies their permissions and presents them with the programs that they have access to. They select the program they want to edit, and Autosave will send a copy of that program to the workstation, 
and launch them into their editor environment. The user now makes changes as they normally would, and when they complete the edit session, a dialog box will ask them what they changed. Once they enter a comment, the revision is sent to the autosave server, and a new revision is created. Email notifications can also be sent. On a scheduled basis, Autosave can compare what's running in the processor with what we have on file. A copy of the program is sent from the server to one of the agents. It's uploaded from the processor, and if any changes are found, you can be sent detailed comparison notifications. Autosave has an intuitive user interface. You can construct the program structure however it makes sense for your facility. The networking is configured in the top part of the program pane. The revision history is shown in this area and as many revisions as necessary may be kept. And launch and compare buttons are located at the bottom of the screen. Autosave can manage changes for any PC-based application, including office documents and homegrown applications, as well as the extensive list shown here. There are also other aspects of the system not covered in this presentation. For example, if you have the need to manage non-networked or disconnected devices, there is a custom interface just for that purpose. We invite you to check out our website for additional information on that. MDT also supports changes in Wonderware system platform through a program called A4SP, Autosave for System Platform. We invite you to check out our website for additional information. Thank you very much for attending this webinar.